Alright, let's take a look at fade and crossfade using new window 8 and new hash. So if I zoom in on this track here, I can drag the fade in or out anywhere I want, or I can place the cursor to the position I want the fade to end and push the fade button to engage it. Now you can also apply a fade to multiple tracks at once. Just select the tracks and apply the fade. Now if you'd like to adjust the curve of the fade, simply click on the fade section and adjust the curve. Now under the new Ashmaster setup window, communication tab, I set the C1 button to adjust fade to range and C2 button to cross fade. So now I can use the range tool to define a fade section for one or multiple tracks and simply apply by using the C1 button adjust fade to range. You can also range across one or multiple tracks and fade in and out on both sides of the selected region. Now, New Window has two types of crossfade editor. Under Preferences, Audio, make sure Sample Crossfade Editor is not checked. So, for example, if I create a few crossfades on these two selected tracks by splitting and moving events to create overlaps, I can then apply crossfades and open the crossfade editor using the C2 button. You can select different crossfades using the left and right arrows. By pressing and holding the shift key, you can slow down the cursor as well as any other function you choose to use, such as zooming in and out, or by moving the cursor to the left side of the crossfade editor, you can move the crossfade from the right side to the left side. And by positioning the cursor to the right side of the crossfade editor, you can move the crossfade from the left side to the right side. If you press and hold the shift and alt buttons with move engaged, you can offset the bottom section of the crossfade if the cursor is on the right side of the crossfade editor. By moving the cursor to the left side, you can then offset the top section of the crossfade. Finally, you can play the fade in, fade out, or crossfade using user assignable keys. Thanks for watching.